Oh, hi there. I was just looking at my cup and wondering how long or the distance from one point of the cup all the way around to that same point, how long that length is. And uh, that's what we were doing just before the break, wasn't it? We were looking at the perimeter of different shapes. And we said the perimeter of a circle, we also call that a circumference. Now, just before the break in our last uh, little session, we looked at very basic calculations to do with perimeter. We're going to take it a step further and we are going to look at more complicated examples and examples that you could find in a paper too. Before we do that, let's just recap very quickly. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the total length of the outside of a shape or the continuous line forming the boundary of a close geometric figure. In other words, perimeter is calculated by adding together the lengths of each side of the shape. Perimeter is measured in millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. And then we looked at the different uh, formulas that can be used. And remember I said to you, don't get too hooked up on formulas. Rather just say, you know what, perimeter is taking this side, adding that side, adding that side, adding that side. From here, adding that side, that side, that side, and that side. From here, adding that side, that side, that side. But for a circle, folk, we got a bit of a problem. Because we can't just measure the side because then we'd need a crooked ruler or a round ruler and, and, and that's kind of hard to get a hold of. So what we do is we come up with a formula and we say that the perimeter of a circle, also known as circumference, can be calculated by means of a formula. And that formula is circumference is 2 times pi times my radius. Okay, now let's go straight into this phenomenal example. Really tough example, uh, good paper two type question. It says that determine the perimeter of the following shape. Okay, so we have a shape and we're going to try and find the perimeter of this entire shape. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to start from a point and work my way around this weird and wonderful shape and get back to my starting point and then add up all those lengths. So let's do that. I'm going to say, right, perimeter is equal to, and I'm going to start here, folk. Why? Because I always like to start on the top left-hand side of any shape. So from here to this point over there, we know my length is 29 centimeters. Plus this length from this point to this point is 33 centimeters. How do I know that? I know that because they tell me. All right. Now, what is the length from this point to this point? Well, we know it's the same as that length. And if that length is 33, then this length has got to be 33. I mean, you've got to be really doff not to know that. Okay. Plus, the length from here to here is 29 centimeters. And so we add that up as well. Plus this part. Ish. And what is that part? That part is half a circle or a semicircle, okay? The circumference of a semicircle. So I know that circumference is going to be 2 times pi times half. But times a half. Why times a half? Because we've got half of a circle. So 2 times 3,142 times the radius. Now, it tells me my radius is 32. So times 32 times a half equals. And now we push a few buttons in our calculator and we say, right, 2 times 3.142 multiplied by 32 multiplied by a half or 0 0.5. And I'm going to get an answer here then of 100,5 comma five four four. So let's add that plus a hundred comma five four four plus this little bit here twenty nine centimeters plus we keep going this little bit here thirty eight centimeters plus this bit here forty seven centimeters. 
plus this bit here, which is the same as that bit, 38 centimeters, plus this little bit here, 29 centimeters, plus this half a circle. Now, this half a circle or semicircle is exactly the same as this. Look, the radius is 32, and here yeah, we're saying the radius is 32. So my answer is this are going to be 100, 544. Now, folk, all I've got to do is I've got to take all these figures and add them together. So let's do that. Out comes my calculator, and I say, right, we are going to go for it. And we are going to say I've got 29 centimeters plus 33 plus 33 plus 29 plus 100.544 plus 29 plus 38 plus 47 plus 38 plus 29 plus 100.544 equals and I get an answer of 506 comma 088 506 comma 088 centimeters and if I'm not uh, asked to round or if I'm asked to round it's going to be 506 comma 09 centimeters now folk one thing I want to say here is this and this is kind of important to know that we know that adding or uh, getting all these figures was one thing but adding them is another thing. And so many times when I've marked your matric papers, I've come across a case where guys get all these numbers correctly, but when they add their answer comes out wrong. And the reason why that happens is sometimes guys push 33 and their finger gets kind of stuck and instead of 33 they go 333 or instead of 29 they push 92 okay or instead of 100 comma 544 they push 154 something weird happens and they get a, a, a wrong answer and there's nothing worse than getting an answer because you've made a careless mistake if you don't understand the work and you don't get the marks well so be it but if you understand the work and you get it wrong because you made a careless mistake oh you just want to bash your head on the table okay so what i always say to my students and i'm going to say the same to you when you have an easy calculation like this but it's got a lot of numbers do that calculation at least two or three times so i get my answer 506,088. let me see if i'm right clear my calculator and add it all up again just to confirm that i've got it right because it would be really sad to lose a mark because you pushed a wrong button okay complicated it looked complicated it actually wasn't that bad now let's have a look at this example mrs glamini buys a new lampshade for a lamp well that's a good thing to buy a lampshade for okay all right so she's got a lamp and she needs a lampshade and so she buys one she measures measures the radius of the inside circle in the lampshade to be 50 millimeters the diameter of the outside or the larger circle is 40 centimeters Note the diagram is not drawn to scale. Okay, so let's do this. So the inside circle has a radius of 50 millimeters. Okay, so in other words, from this point to this point is what? It's a 100 millimeters. Why 100 millimeters? It's 100 millimeters because the radius was 50. So if the radius is 50, the diameter is 100. Then, the diameter of the outside, the larger circle, so if I wanted to do that, I would say this, the diameter of the large circle is 40 centimeters. So that is 40 centimeters. This is 100 millimeters. Okay, right. I can see straight away, here I'm dealing in millimeters, here I'm dealing in centimeters. Remember that. Next question or fifth question. Calculate the circumference of the smaller inner circle. So the smaller inner circle, we said the radius was 50 millimeters. Okay, so circumference we know is equal to 2 times pi times r. 
2 pi, it will be given as 3 comma 1 4 2 and the radius we said was 50 millimeters okay 50 millimeters now fuck I want to show you this it says calculate your answer in centimeters and my golden rule is quite simple and this is it always change your answer to the unit where they want the answer so I'm going to change that straight away and I'm going to say I've got two times 3 comma 1 4 2 instead of 50 millimeters I'm going to divide it by 10 and get 5 centimeters now I can do my calculation and my calculation is going to be 2 times 3.142 multiply that by 5 and my answer is 31 comma 42 31 comma 42 centimeters cool Next one says, calculate the circumference of the larger outer circle in centimeters. Round off your answer to one decimal place. So let's just have a look here. My outer circle we've already looked at is 40 centimeters in diameter. That means the radius will be 20 centimeters. So my formula for circumference is going to be the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. 2 pi, we'll be told, is 3 comma 1, 4, 2. The radius was 20 centimeters. If the answer's got to be in centimeters. I already have it in centimeters. Out comes my calculator. 2 multiplied by 3.142, multiply that by 20, equals, and my answer is 125,68. 125,68. Centimeters. Easy, where the inside was only 31,42. My next question calculate the perimeter of half of the larger outer circle. So, what is the perimeter of half of it? Well, guys, that's really straightforward, isn't it? Because if the perimeter of the outer circle is 125,68 centimeters, half of it's just going to be 125,68 divided by 2. Okay, straightforward. So let's do that. I've got 128,68. Divide that by 2, and I'm going to land up then with an answer of 62,84. 62,84 centimeters. Right, the last question we're going to do here calculate the width of the area shown by the dotted line in the diagram above. So, what's the width of the area? shown by the dotted line in the diagram above. So when we look at it, we want to know what is the width of that area. Okay. Now, folk, to do that, we would have to look at area. We're going to say the area of this inner circle. We're going to find the area of the outer circle. And then we're going to say this whole area minus this little bit of area is going to be that area. But we're not going to do that because we're going to look at area in our next episode. We have just been looking at perimeter. In fact, when we look at our summary, this is it. In this segment today, we've covered the following. We've explained what perimeter is and we've calculated the perimeter in different scenarios. Trust you've learned something. I'm sure I'll see you on the TV screen shortly. Have a good one. Cheers.